this is What You're Waiting For, and this is a woman's perspective on camping and survival. And I wanted to let everyone know that I was a very proud mommy the other day, and I'm going to tell you why. Uh, we live in a small town in East Texas, and not yesterday, but the day before, if you didn't watch the news, we had terrible weather. We had very bad rain, hail, but the worst part is they counted nine different tornadoes in our area. And of course, we were right in the line. <laughs> and we live in a suburban neighborhood. Uh, it's not, you know, big, uh, our, our city is not really a big city, but it's a small city and we live in this little suburban neighborhood and they have different sirens uh, throughout the city. And one just happens to be about a house and a half away from our house. So when it goes off, we can definitely hear it. And I was so proud because the first siren went off. We were all um, different places. The kids were um, getting, you know, winded down for, for bed. It wasn't actually bedtime, but they had, you know, changed into relaxing clothes and taken their showers. And I was upstairs. And the siren went off. And the first thing is I came down and the kids came out and uh, they said, Mom, there's a tornado warning. No, tornado watch. The watch was first. Tornado watch. And I says, okay. And they went back. I got upstairs. Um, my husband got up, uh, was watching TV, went and got completely dressed, put on his shoes because we were relaxing. You know, it was, it was nighttime. And uh, surprising, the kids went straight in their rooms. They all got dressed and they all put on their shoes. By the time I came down from the stairs one more time, the kids had already gotten their 72-hour kits and asked, where should I put them? And I said, well, go ahead and put them in the hallway. That is the one safe place because there's no, um, there's no uh, windows or anything in the, in the area. And we can close all of the doors, and it's a safe little area. <clears throat> so they all lined up their 72-hour kits. I remembered that I recently bought a new seven gallon water jug that I had never, I disinfected the morning, that morning, but I hadn't filled up. So I started filling up the water jug. Uh, my middle daughter went in and got the broom and dustpan and knew that we were probably going to be sitting and sleeping in the hallway and went ahead and swept because they didn't do it last week. And my son went in, got his flashlight and his pocket knife and his EDC, you know, his flashlight, his pocket knife, and, um, and got that. Um, and I was so surprised that everybody knew exactly what they were supposed to do. And it wasn't running back and forth and going crazy. They knew this was a real emergency. It was, it was a drill, I guess, for us, but it wasn't a drill because at the time we really thought that this was, you know, going to hit. Uh, my son also went upstairs, got the local um, radio, our crank radio, and it has a weather channel. And my husband was the one to turn to channel 7, which is our local ch channel here, and was watching and giving us updates. Of, of all the things while we were preparing and doing everything. So by the time the second alarm had sounded in our, in our area, meaning it was a tornado warning, meaning they, they are, are a tornado, yes, tornado warning. <laughs> so we, we had everything ready. We had our 72 hour kits all lined up where we were going to our in our little safe area. Uh, we had finished filling up all the water that needed to be filled up. Um, we, we also have other water, but this was just a new one that, that I hadn't filled up yet. Um, my, my husband had gotten all of his stuff together. My kids have gotten all their things together. My, my son had turned on the weather channel and cranked and cranked and cranked until we got energy. And I was just so surprised. And then when the second bell went off, we went and uh, went into our little safe area until we knew it was all clear. But I was surprised at 
you know, we have fire drills sometimes, you know, and the kids are like, oh, yeah, if, it, if the fire goes, you know, we, we'll do this and we'll go through here and we'll meet here. And we've had, you know, well, if this happened, you know, grab your 72-hour kit and this is what we do. But it was great to see it all work out in a real emergency situation. Thank God we didn't need it. You know, thank God um, the tornado was about maybe 10 miles, hit 10 miles away and didn't hit right next to us. But it was nice to see that my kids knew exactly what to do in a small emergency. Now, we've done, you know, little drills of if there's a big emergency and we do have to bug out, you know, everybody has their job that they're supposed to do, you know, my my oldest daughter takes care of the medical, you know, my, my youngest son makes sure that all the bug out bags are together or the 72 hour kits are all together and in the car. I mean, everyone has a job that they need to do. Um, but it was nice to see that even in a small emergency, they didn't panic, you know, they didn't, oh my gosh, do you think it's going to hit, you know, what should we do? Because they already knew what to do. So it was really nice that even though we didn't need that 72 hour kit, um, it was nice for them to know that that security is there if something did happen and I think they took it a little bit better. Now, and my kids are older, you know, we, we've done, gone through this, you know, a few times before, but it was just nice to not have to sit there and say, okay, everybody get their 72 hour kids, okay, everybody do this, you know, oh, Danny, you need to do this. Everybody just sort of went and did what they were supposed to do. It was just like second nature. And there was a lot of things, you know, we could have done, you know, if it was a different emergency. But for um, the tornadoes, we I think we got everything pretty much together and, and took care of everything, you know. And so um, if you do have a storm or um, a tornado sighting or anything, that is a great time to see how your, your family would react because it is a real emergency. It could lead to a real major emergency. Um, but it's good to know when your kids are a little nervous, not just a practice drill, but something real life to see, you know, well, this is what we're preparing for, you know, if there's an emergency. So I was a, a very proud mommy, you know, that nobody, you know, went crazy and, <laughs> you know, was, was scared. I mean, everybody was a little scared, but I think they were a little safer and more secure knowing that their 72 hour kits were there. We have food if something happens. We have lights. We have the flashlights here right where the, if the electricity goes off. So we're, we were prepared. And uh, that's, that's the major thing, you know, that your kids understand. And my kids, you know, are a little older, but you start when they're little and you teach them, you know, if that alarm goes off, or, you know, if you have a tornado warning, you can teach a three or four year old, you know, go grab your backpack and go sit, you know, in a safe area. And it, it works. And, uh, you know, get out there and, and, and talk to your kids and, and let them know and practice it. Really, really practice it. Not just joking around practice like, you know, well, what would you do if the bomb goes off, you know, but real life practice. You know, and, and see how they respond and see, you know, what they need. And maybe you need to make sure that your younger kids, uh, when they grab their 72-hour kit, they grab their, um, you know, little bear or their blanket or their pillow or something that makes them feel more secure. So that would be a great way to test out um, your plan is on, you know, a day that there's uh, bad weather. So... Uh, get out there and get practicing and uh, talk to your kids and what you're waiting for. Bye.